What's going on? I'm Jim Perona. Welcome to the Weekly Axe Kicking. Today we're going to talk about repeated notes, which is a very cool way to um, add a different kind of sound or dimension or even a syncopation to a what would be an otherwise single note riff. So this week I had a blues riff in the uh, A minor pentatonic scale and it originally sounded like this. So what I'm going to do now is take the remaining space that was in between each note, for example, and turn it into basically make everything a constant 16th note and we're going to see how that affects the riff. Let's take a look. So like I said before, this is in the key of A minor pentatonic, so we're in the fifth position, so my first finger is currently over the fifth fret, and we're starting on the G on the uh, fifth fret of the fourth string, and we're going to get this little riff going. And we're going to play each of those notes three times. And then we have on the third string this D and C, seventh and fifth fret, respectively. We're going to play each of those notes twice. So we put it together. After that, we left off on the fifth fret of the third string, this C. We're going to slide up two frets to the D. Now we're changing positions here. And we've got, just going chromatically up, D, D sharp, E on the seventh, eighth, and ninth fret of the third string. Playing each note twice. And then we're doing, uh, we're gonna skip a string to the C on the first string, the eighth fret. Play that note once, down to the A on the tenth fret of the second string. So that whole part together. So now we're going to repeat the opening riff. And we're doing it an octave higher. So we're starting on the G note on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. And repeating what we had an octave down here. So G three times, A three times, C three times. Back to A, three times, then two times on D and C on the first string. One more time. So when we leave off at this C here, we're going to do two big position shifts. We're going to slide from the 10th fret, the D on the first string, straight to the E on the 12th fret, and immediately pull off to the 10th fret. And then we're going with our pinky finger, we're going to go to the 13th fret, the C, on the 2nd string, down to the 10th fret, A. So, I'm doing a pull off on the first two notes and plucking the second two notes. So immediately after that we have a slide from the 12th fret to the 15th fret from E to G with our third finger, pull off to the 12th fret, E. And then the last two notes are plucked, and it's going to be D, 15th fret of the 2nd string, and C, 13th fret. So those two slide riffs together. And then we uh, end this riff with a bend from G to A. So that's on the 15th fret of the 1st string. We're going to bend it up that whole step and do some vibrato.
Now another great thing about doing repeated notes on guitar is it's great for the picking hand, the constant down up, down up. So if you need uh, some extra training in your alternate picking, this is a good way to go. So that'll about wrap it up for this week. Make sure you check out the tabs at zakharmusic.com and uh, check out Zakhar Music on Facebook. Very cool Facebook page. You can uh, upload performance videos and get a free critique or just some insight to if you're looking for any kind of improvement or ways to spice up your playing. And uh, thanks again. See you next week.